So. <laughs> I love you. Jason, come here and say something. <laughs> Why do I always have to follow you? <laughs> because you're late for everything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Shocker. That's what his last girlfriend said. <laughs> I'll follow that. I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> um, I was really touched and honored that John asked me to talk today. And he said, I want you to get up and tell funny stories about Mike and make me laugh. And then he said, you can't be vulgar. You can't talk about sex. So that's all I have. <laughs> no, Mike was amazing. He was from the first day that we met. He gave me a big giant hug exactly the same way he did the last time I saw him. Um, he was he always watched out for me. He always called me on my shit. Um, he would wait till just the right moment to say something. He um, he loved to sit. We used to we would go to um, Sweet Tomatoes and have dinner. My four or five plates of food piled up. He'd sit there and eat, listen to us run our mouths, because John and I could talk when we get together. And he'd wait and wait and wait, and then all of a sudden he would just have one little thing he would say, and we'd all go, oh, okay, well that just summed it all up right there. So he was um, definitely the, the best of the bunch of us. Um, but I know he's still here with us in you. So thank you all for coming, and thanks for letting me talk. I don't know who's next. Bill. 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 I'd like to blame Jason for my tardiness. <laughs> he had to go get one more person. But I just wanted to let everybody know I, that Michael was, I'm sure, re reiterating everything that everyone's always said. He was just that person that could tell you in a matter of five words whether or not you were dead on or off base. He made you feel like a million bucks or he could take you down and make you feel like this tall. So he was a friend, an incredible person and incredible, obviously incredible to see all the faces here gathered to remember him and his incredible life with John. Uh, one of the things that we were sitting on the couch at John's the other night and we had to, I had to, I had to tell John, you know, how incredibly fortunate he was that he got to spend the last 21 years of his life giving and being give to, given to by this incredible man that was always looking to help, always looking to do, and be a friend to anybody that was around. Um, I'm gonna start to tear up now, so I'm gonna give this to John and let him finish this out. Thank you. Before I say what, I really don't know what I'm gonna say. I was just wondering if anybody else wanted to say anything, if anybody had anything on their mind that they'd like to say. If not, I didn't plan anything. I tried to. I tried to write some things down, and it, all of it just seemed right and wrong at the same time. How do you sum up 21 and a half years with one person? I feel like I was the most fortunate person in this world to have a man like Mike pick me. He could have picked anybody. <laughs> but he picked me. And he loved me. He loved me so hard. 
and I loved him so hard back. We spent 24-7 together. Not many people can do that. We never stopped laughing. We never stopped making fun of people. <laughs> we never stopped making fun of ourselves. He was probably <clears throat> the closest thing to an angel I'd ever met. That shadow was right on with the plants. That was his first love. I think I was his second. <laughs> I would, I, sometimes I was like, if you just pay that as much attention to me as you do the 40 plants in the backyard, you get along a lot better. And then he found his fish tank. Then I became third. <laughs> but I knew he loved me first. The last day of his life was probably the greatest day of our life. We worked on Sunday. We went home. We jumped in our new pool. We swam. He was laying back on the raft, had his hands behind his head. He goes, isn't this the life? And I said, it sure is. He jumped off his raft, came over, and threw me off mine. <laughs> <laughs> and of course he laughed and laughed. <laughs> we went inside, laid down, and let's just say, we had some fun. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> That's what you always say. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people don't know this, but we were watching TV. I got up and I said, I'm going to go get a handful of pretzels. He said, Do you want any, honey? And he said, No, thanks, honey. I love you. And he fell over. And that was it. He was pretty much gone at that point. I did everything I could. It was the toughest moment of my life. And the day that, on Tuesday evening, when his mother and sister were there with me, and my sister was in the room, and we made the decision to let him go, which was the right thing to do. I still feel that I felt him go through my entire body. And there was a sense of peace because I knew that he wasn't hurting anymore. He wasn't suffering anymore. And it was just nice to know that at least the last thing he ever said to me was that he loved me. And I'll never forget that as long as I live. I can't tell you, it's hard to put in words what he meant to me. He was my world, he was my life. We were John and Mike, Mike and John. Did you ever see us without each other? <laughs> the hard part's gonna be to just be John now. But just so you know, he'll be with me all the time, so we'll always be John and Mike forever. I know he's watching over, and I know he's probably like, quit your fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> I loved his teasing. I loved everything about him. There's nothing that, okay, irritated. One thing irritated me. <laughs> one thing. <clears throat> squeezed the toothpaste from the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That was our running joke. And from now on, I think I will squeeze the toothpaste from the middle. I'm not really sure what else to say, except I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. We knew some people like this. We had no idea this many people felt this way about us. So I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for coming out today. I love you all. And no matter what, 
I know Mike loved every single one of you. He talked about all of you. He appreciated every one of you. So all the hugs I've given to everybody were hugs from Mike and from me. He'll live on forever through all of our hearts. Don't be afraid to come up and tell me a story. I want to hear them all. I'm sure I haven't heard them all. I'm sure there's things y'all talked in secret. <laughs> but if it's something bad about me, just keep walking. <laughs> but I just want to say, I love you, Mike, more than anything in this world. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to start by putting just one foot in front of the other. And every time that I feel like I do now, I know that I can hear it in the back of my brain telling me what to do next. It always will. I love you, Mike. I love all of you. I appreciate you. And I appreciate your love and support. So thank you. Thank you very much. I think you're much not cocked. <laughs> 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 <laughs>